Hello guys, this is Jordan Ben from Hockey Development Training, Strength and Conditioning Coach at Brock University Varsity Hockey. Today I'm going to take you through five stretches for widening our butterflies and spoilies. Um, these are five stretches that you should add into your everyday routine, use them in the off season and in the in season, help improve your flexibility and create a wider butterfly effect. Our first stretch today is the butterfly stretch. I'm just going to pull in. We're going to go through a boat five different reps of these. So the first ones we're just going to hold for about five seconds. Relax, you can shake your legs out if you want. Bring them back in. We're going to go a little bit wider, but each time we should be able to go a little bit wider. Five seconds again, we'll lighten up. This time we're going to put a little bit of pressure down on the outside. Again, holding for about five seconds. Legs out. We're going to bring them in again. Now push down a little wider with the elbows. Take them up one last time. In this one, we're going to push down as much as we can. Obviously, not creating any pain, but we really want to feel that stretch. We've warmed them up, stretch them, and now we're going to stretch as far as we can through the groins. This last one you should hold for about 20 seconds, really get a good long stretch, help lengthen that muscle. Okay, on to our next one, the pigeon. This one is an external hip rotation, we're going to feel the glutes as well, so we're going to bring one foot up, drop the other leg behind. This one we want to hold for about 10 seconds on the first time. Switch legs after 10 seconds, and then we'll go through this one again. The second time, hold for about 20 seconds, get into a little bit of a deeper stretch. You should be able to bring that leg up a little bit further. Through, legs up a little bit further. We're going to hold for 20 seconds. Repeat the other side as well. Next one, half kneeling, adductor, and external hip rotation. So one foot off to the side, hands in front of our body. And they're going to stay where they are on the floor. We're going to lean back and let this toe come up so that we get an external hip rotation as we lean back and forward. So back, holding for a couple seconds. Forward, allowing the toe to come up. One, two, forward. Then we're going to switch to the other side. Same thing, hands can stay right where they are. Lean back, allow that foot to come up. Hold for just a couple of seconds, release. For this one, we want to do two sets of five on each side. Our next one, working on an internal hip rotation. I'll show you this one from two angles. Just so line from here. We have one foot planted, the other foot is going to come up across the opposite leg. We're going to push on the knee slightly and release. and release. So for this one we also want to do two sets of five on each side. I'll show you from the side angle as well. Foot planted here, opposite foot across, and just slight pressure on the knee. This one we want to hold for just about two to three seconds as well. These. Again, five reps of those, two sets on each side, so ten reps total. Um, our last one, 
working on internal hip rotation. So it's called the lying knee to knee stretch. Feet are going to be planted outside of hip and shoulder width apart. Then we're going to allow our knees to come together in the middle. We don't want them to touch them there. Drop them in. One, two, and relax. One, two, relax. One, two, relax. Okay, so that one we're just holding a couple seconds. We're not putting any pressure on. So once we go through five, we're going to do five more where we put a little bit of pressure with our hands on the outside of our legs right around our knees. So we're going to get a little more of an internal rotation. It's really going to help with that butterfly flare and help us have a wider butterfly. Yeah, feet planted outside shoulder width apart. Jump into the middle. Slight pressure on the outside of the legs. Holding for two to three seconds again. If our knees touch on this one, then we're not getting the full stretch. We're too close, just putting them further apart. As long as they're not touching, we're good. That being said, we don't need to have our legs way outside. That's our five stretches for today. Goalies, add those into your everyday routine, especially for the off season. Use them into the in season. You'll really see the butterfly flare out. We'll have more net coverage down low.